Today on Play Center Adventures, we're going to talk about two things that are both fun and scientific, magnets and polymers. First up, magnets. Magnets can be both natural and man-made. Basically, they are objects that produce a magnetic field and attract metals such as steel and iron. Then there are polymers. Polymers occur when molecules link together to form chains, like this chain of paper clips. Some of the most popular toys in the world are polymers. Like silly thing. And some of your favorite toys might be made of polymers, such as that PlayStation 4 you like so much. Typically, polymers aren't magnetic, but today we're going to mix up some ingredients to make a polymer that is attracted to magnets. You need some liquid starch, white glue, a measuring bowl, some iron oxide powder, one fourth cup measuring cup, a tablespoon, a stir stick, and some gloves to keep the iron oxide from getting underneath your fingernails. And finally, a neodymium magnet to test out your magnetic slime. We are going to start by pouring a fourth a cup of glue into the bowl. You want to use the glue first because the iron oxide tends to suspend a little better in the glue than it does in the starch. Then you're going to add two tablespoons of iron oxide powder. Stir that around. You want to make sure that all the dry powder gets stirred up into the glue so that your jack is magnetic all the way through. Your glue and iron oxide mixture should look like that. Then we're going to add our liquid starch. And this is when you have to start stirring really quickly because once these two things start to mix, your polymer forms. See it starting to blob up and create a polymer. All of those molecules are linking together and forming chains that are creating a large blob. Here you can pull out the majority of your block and start mixing it with your hands. You can also grab a paper towel and get out some of the excess liquid. And the longer the polymer sits, the more dry it'll become. When you're satisfied with how it looks, you can place it on a table and start to experiment with a magnet. Neodymium magnets work the best because they are very powerful magnets. So what makes the polymer magnetic is the iron oxide suspended inside of it. When you put the neodymium magnet close to it, the iron oxide pulls to the magnet, attracts to the magnet, and since the polymer is stretchy, it comes along with it. When you drop the whole magnet down into the polymer, the polymer completely consumes the magnet. 